Hi guys, my name is EEC Robif2 and today I'm gonna discuss the uh, winner and the results of the Einschreidung show which is the uh, Switzerland's uh, national selection for uh, Eurovision 2018 so uh, they, they used the, uh, this format uh, for the third or fourth time in a row I think it's fourth uh, and well uh, it's good they uh, use it because this time they had some quality songs in here mm, I did a review on the those six songs, full songs, and well, I had a clear favorite, uh, which which was Zibs, uh, the band. Actually, I didn't know that it was uh, uh, those two were siblings, so that's even more cool uh, to see both of them cooperating. And yeah, they won. They clearly won uh, with both televoting and juries, uh, international juries, and well. Uh, firstly, I'm gonna review the song uh, again, and yeah, and then I'll uh, discuss the results in general. So let's go with zips with stones. <coughs> so I watched the uh, national selection uh, yesterday. And it was very pleasant to watch, uh, even though they were speaking in three different languages. Uh, like the host was talking in the in the no Romansh, I guess it's a Swiss uh, no language there. They have three uh, official languages there. So, uh, but the, then some of the participants, including Alejandro Reyes, was speaking French. And uh, I think mm, Vanessa Inachi and or Kiara Dubey were speaking Italian, so that was crazy when they had to translate also their things. But well, let's go back to the songs. Uh, to the song. Well, I, I love uh, when it starts with those. Well, actually, in the. Mm, in the verses, there's that kind of oh, it reminds me of American Indian, you know, uh, rituals, rituals and stuff like that. It's very cool because it's not very often in a song. It sounds very cool, and yeah, her voice, her stage presence, you can clearly see that she knows how to own the stage, which is good, obviously. Uh, yeah, her voice is good. I mean, there were maybe a bit of not clear notes, but in general, the whole package is good. Uh, yeah, the staging is oh, also not that you know, uh, it's quite original, I would say. I've never seen uh, you no know, two triangles next to each other and the, the, then there's also siblings that different colors I think red and blue are well fitting together well they are actually two of the uh, basic colors so yeah her brother the drummer is doing a good job of you know showing that he's a good drummer because it's of course not live it's recorded uh, the track with the drums I mean but she's singing live and you can hear that she's you know the classy sassy thing it's very enjoyable to uh, listen to this because uh, maybe it's not you know everything uh, that people not everyone would listen to such kind of music but for me personally it's very pleasant to hear uh, to listen to it um, 
yeah uh, I'm not that, that big fan of rock but mm, I like soft engine and I still listen to the music so uh, there are some uh, exceptions in my uh, uh, in my case like the I like the, also from Switzerland there was a band called uh, Simplus and I like them also a lot they have uh, many good songs and yeah and then we go with another band from Switzerland why not uh, Eurovision you know has changed and if we don't take risk like this hey, I think it was not a big risk because they are very they are good it's a decent rock song uh, it's very likable enjoyable so uh, I'm glad it won and yeah uh, in the international juries they uh, nailed it they had like four four times or three times the 12 points and then uh, in the televoting they got uh, a dominating uh, score because uh, 29 more than uh, the second one in the televoting so that's uh, a lot and in in total they got uh, they had 153 points so that's a lot uh, and anyways second was Alejandro Reyes who was my second actually uh, in the mm, in my uh, top six of the whole thing uh, in the night and well he scored with the international ju juries a lot because only four points less than zips so that's uh, very good and I was happy to see those two uh, that high uh, in the televoting he had much less I mean less than uh, zips because only 48 points but ended up in having more than 100 points 120 to be exact and I he's a good performer and I would like to see him uh, performing, uh, well, I mean representing Switzerland, because he, he's very good, good, he has a voice, his style is good, mm, I like everything about him, his looks also, <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, the staging was also great with those drummers in the background, um, yeah, he had a guitar with, with him, so uh, that's cool because uh, he reminds to his style clearly and yeah uh, I only missed uh, the thing that wa that he wasn't clapping you know there were some moments he could uh, and the audience were, was uh, clapping so in the you know in the air uh, that would be cool actually yeah good job on that one and the third was uh, Vanessa Iraci. Well, I have. Uh, I didn't like the lyrics a lot. Uh, in the. When I reviewed the six songs, I didn't like those uh, lyrics a lot. Uh, with those red lights and so, so on. Uh, but the song life was actually very enjoyable uh, it was my fourth in the end uh, yeah I liked it uh, I wasn't you know paying too much attention to the lyrics so it was uh, enjoyable and she already uh, had uh, a lot a lot uh, a fewer points uh, she had 67 points only so that's a huge difference between set the second uh, it was exactly 53 then was Kiara Dubey with uh, 66 points so only one point difference uh, I don't know what people saw in her maybe the staging was uh, too interesting but for me uh, I rated the song when I reviewed it a 6 but uh, on life it was for me so sleepy that, that I really thought I would uh, sleep there 
and it was uh, a terrible experience for me actually it was just boring and sleepy that's all and next was uh, ng ot uh, with 65 points oh, only one point difference between the fourth uh, and fifth place so that was very, very those were very close results here and yeah uh, the song was good uh, live performance uh, I didn't like it that much because um, she didn't hit some of the high notes so that's a uh, uh, no minus for me and yeah but in general I like the song a thousand times so we won't have uh, like a million voices we had and so on uh, uh, and sixth, the last one was Neyman with the song "Kiss Me." Uh, well, I'd like to him to kiss me, but you know, only his looks impressed me. The song was just okay, uh, nothing special at all. Live performance, uh, not that impressive. Uh, yeah, the lyrics too cheesy. Uh, and well, I, I'm not surprised that he finished last with only 33 points, so another big difference between the uh, place above. But in general, I enjoyed the national se this national selection called the Entscheidung Show. Uh, I think it was not boring. Uh, they had only one commercial break, not like in Malta. Uh, even during the perform live performances, they had uh, ads, so that was uh, crazy. But here they had f like 10, 15 minutes commercial break. Uh, there was time to vote. They spoke with the mm, contestants, and yeah, uh, there was some green room realness. There was also an interval act from. Uh, a Portuguese person, I have no idea what's, what's her name, but yeah, uh, she sang Amar Pelos Deutsch with, uh, I think it was a Austrian uh, no, kind of choir, I don't know, four people, is it a choir? I don't know, but anyways, uh, yeah, I liked it, uh, I'm glad they done the winner song of last year so that was cool to see uh, and about and there's one thing I want uh, to say that I'm impressed that audience was uh, you know they involved a big audience in this there was uh, more than a thousand uh, in that uh, studio that was very cool because you know the audience was very excited about it and it's like Switzerland, even though their the results dropped, uh, clearly, they haven't been in the final since 2014, but they seem to be, be very passionate about this, so that's a clear sign they're going uh, uh, to slay very soon, maybe this year, we don't know. It's hard to say when we have only six songs. Anyways, uh, uh, my, about my top six, I would put uh, Switzerland on my fourth place. So my top six would be first Albania, second uh, Czech Republic, third France, fourth Switzerland, fifth uh, Malta, and sixth Spain. I like all of those songs, so that's uh, actually very funny. And well, I'm uh, very uh, excited for to you know to find out about the uh, remaining 37 songs because if I like those six are already then what will be with the rest I'm very uh, excited to find out about it anyways thank you for watching guys uh, if you like the video do the thumbs up if you want to share your opinion about the national selection in uh, general about the songs about the results if you're happy or not uh, then uh, do please uh, comment uh, under the video and 
yeah, if you want to stay tuned for more of my stuff uh, to come, like the re my reaction to the Danish uh, uh, song, Dash, then, then uh, the Dusk Melodic Grand Prix uh, national final songs and the Polish national selection, maybe uh, it's coming uh, this uh, week, the list. So uh, hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching guys, bye!